So, it has been over a month and we have no new AMD driver. So instead of having the 23.6.1, we have zero. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. And according to my memory, this is actually the first time in like two or three years that we have a month without driver updates. But we do have like a preview driver from AMD, which is accessible if you search on Google. And it is the preview driver of June 23.10.01.41 for additional Vulkan extensions release notes. Although it has some very, and I repeat, very good fixes and some very interesting details. I mean, it is almost as interesting as today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. And like I told you before, these drivers have very good things on the fixed issues already, but I even found more things that these drivers actually fixed. But well, let's start with the release notes. And we start with highlights with support for additional Vulkan extensions. Click here for more information and you click there if you want more information. As for the fixed issues, we have certain virtual reality games or applications may encounter suboptimal performance or occasional stuttering on Radeon RX 7000 series GPUs. And according to some users, this is actually fixed or at least much better than with the previous drivers. And we're talking about some preview drivers, so these are not even the official drivers. And for some users that you can see, for example, on this Reddit post that you're watching right now on the screen, VR works much better right now on the RDNA 3 GPUs, something that wasn't happening before, where the RDNA 3 GPUs, the 7000 series, actually performed worse than the 6000 series on VR, which makes absolutely no sense. But with these drivers, it seems that the RX 7000 series performance in VR is basically where it should be and they are performing much better, at least for the vast majority of users that tested these drivers, okay? Meaning, meaning that uh, with the official drivers, most likely it will be even better. Application crash or driver timeout may be observed during playback of AV1 video content using DaVinci Resolve Studio, so people having this issue uh, should have it fixed by now, so you can now use AV1 without any issues, and improvements to high adult power when using select high resolution and high refresh rate displays on Radeon RX 7000 series GPUs. And this, this was one of the other issues that was presented on the RX 7000 series, the high adult power, and it seems to be much better now, not fixed for all users, but indeed much better now. For example, with the RX 7600 that, that I tested also in this video, with the RX 7600, the, the the idle power draw is basically the same, like 13 or 17 watts or something, uh, something like that, sorry. But with the 7900 XTX, it actually improved a bit, a bit. Well, percentage-wise, it improved by half, so 50%, because uh, it went from, uh, from 12 watts idle to 6 watts idle, okay? That's a lot. Full idle from 12 to 6 with these drivers. That's, that's a good thing. Um, and basically for some users, once again, according to that Reddit post where some users commented there, for their multi-display configurations, it seems that the power draw was also reduced and that's also a good thing. It may not be fixed, but at least AMD is on the right track. Finally. As for the known issues, we still have two, with application crash may be intermittently observed while playing RuneScape on some AMD graphics products, such as the Radeon RX 5700 XT, I thought it was fixed on the, on the previous drivers, but I might be wrong. And the second and last one is intermittent corruption may be observed after switching Windows while playing Neo 2 on some AMD graphics products, such as the Radeon RX 6800 XT. And basically that's it. Even with just these two corrections, the corrections of the high idle power and the corrections of the VR performance, these drivers are already worth it. But there's more. And I even made a list of the good things and bad things in my, yes, it's here. Uh, I even made a list uh, because I found some things that weren't presented on these drivers and they are some very interesting things. So as for the good things, VR is fixed for most people, which is a good thing. The idle power is better or fixed for some as well. Nice. Then we have custom resolution utility working right now. Yes! 
CRU is finally working with the RX 7000 series and it wasn't before. So even if you're using the 23.5.2 or any driver before that on the RX 7000 series, the custom resolution utility won't work because AMD didn't allow the uh, EDIF, I, I like to call it EDIF, to be edited. So CRU couldn't do anything. But now with these drivers, with these preview drivers, CRU actually works and I tested it on the RX 7600 and the RX 7900 XTX and it works flawlessly. Awesome. And also since the control panel is actually the control panel that, that is used on the on the Windows Store, so it's a different panel because these are preview drivers. Well, the control panel is actually smoother, at least on the high, re high refresh rate panels, like mine, 160 Hz, it is actually smoother. The previous panels were working at, let's say, animations of 60 Hz, and these ones have high refresh rate animations. So that's very, very nice. It, it feels smoother, and it, that's a good thing. We also have a new font on the installer, which is also, well, some people may say it's better, some people may say it's worse, we also have the fact that the RX 7600 is now included on the, on the main driver installer, something that wasn't happening before. For example, we have the 23.5.2 drivers, um, but we don't have those drivers for the 7600. The only driver available right now besides this preview one is uh, the 23.5.1 specifically for the RX 7600. So you have the 23.5.1 for all cards but a specific one for the RX 7600 that will only work with the RX 7600 figures. But now, with these preview drivers and uh, the um, official drivers to come, the RX 7600 is also included in the, in the main installer, let's call it that. Yeah. And the last good thing might be placebo, I know, right? It might be placebo, but I just feel that the system is smoother. It, it just feels silky smooth, uh, smoother while playing, smoother uh, while messing with the mouse on the desktop. Everything just feels smoother, but once again, it might be placebo. But well, this is not all cotton candy and rainbows and unicorns, so there are some bad things, mostly in terms of performance. Sadly, in terms of performance, the RX 7600 is more or less on par, but the RX 7900 XDX is indeed slightly slower. For people that prefer the VR, the VR fixes instead of other things, you can use these preview drivers with a link in the description. But if you want the maximum performance, I would still advise you to keep the 23.5.2 or even better, the 23.5.1, which in my opinion are the best drivers that you can get right now for the 7900 XTX. If you don't care about strict performance and you want a smoother experience, if you want better VR, better idle power, yeah, these drivers are actually very, very cool. In my experience, definitely a must uh, if you want to get some of these issues fixed. Definitely a must. And well, that's basically all for today's video. It seems that AMD is definitely on the right track. We know nothing yet about FSR3 though, uh, but we do we do know that they're working on the VR on the VR issues and they're they're working on the high adult power issues. And at least they fixed most of them, or at least some of them for some users. Uh, so that's a good start. Well, it was a bad start with the problems, obviously, but it is a good start at fixing things, okay? Most people don't have the eye adult power issue anymore, uh, and most people are having VR performing as it should from the beginning, so that's a good thing as well. Now, when will the official drivers get released? I don't really know. Maybe uh, we won't have any kind of 23.6.1, maybe we will jump uh, already to the 23.7.1, I don't really know, but it is what it is, I guess. Nonetheless, AMD is on the right path, and these drivers are for you if you want to fix the VR issues and the high level power issues. You're teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video, and as always, leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know, let me and us, the community, know uh, what's your experience with these drivers, and if they actually fixed anything for you or not at all. If your performance is better or worse like mine is with the 7900 XTX, and if your overall experience is much better with these drivers or with the 23.5.2 or 23.5.1 because me and us the community want to know. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.